I just <laughs> added this know. up. You're gonna see how much of the work we did translated into dineros. Here comes the money. Here we go. Money talks. What's up, y'all? It's your master Lee. And Lulu. And today we're gonna share with you how much we earned on YouTube in 2019. Oh yeah! Oh, this is exciting. Money, money, money. Well, it depends how much it is because it could be exciting <laughs> or disappointing. Disappointing. We had uh, celebrate our 10th year anniversary together being married. That's right, oh, 10. Mm. <laughs> oh gosh. Mm. That's another video. Probably gonna be more like a therapy video. But being together for 10 years, we wanted to celebrate. So we started to travel, started documenting. Welcome, Welcome to, to Sin, Sin City. City. Well, let's take this time to really like post stuff up on a regular basis, right? And that it quickly evolved into, well, you know, this could be really interesting as a ongoing thing. Could we turn it into something that we could do full time? And that was my commitment in 2019. So the whole idea was that at the start around 2019, try to really commit to doing it on a daily basis. And the reason why I wanted to do that was because I had seen a number of people who had gone daily and said how much of an accelerator that is in terms of growing on YouTube. Uh, not just in terms of growing your subscriber base and the amount of money you earn, but growing as a creator, learning what it takes to create the tools that you have to use, mm. the techniques and it's, how to story tell, like everything. It's like the more you practice, the more you do. And so that was the commitment. So we got our very first paycheck starting in April of 2019, which means that the amount of money we earned up to that point was actually just for those months. Mm. All right, so the total amount that we earned for 2019, drum roll, Lulu, was $10,947. Wow. Wow, I didn't know that. That's right. <laughs> this actually had ramped up month to month. So when it started off, it actually was very, very little, but we kept growing. I kept committing to the format that I had figured out was working for us. I'm gonna break that down for you all right now with a bit of a few tips in terms of how you can learn from this and potentially do the same thing. I had launched a number of different channels over this past year. And the reason why I did that was because I had heard from a number of you know expert YouTube creators that you really should focus on one niche. Well, unless you're already famous, right? Exactly. You're already like famous, once you're famous, you can post you can anything do everything. on your channel. So this is just a small YouTuber problem. Who just started, right? right? So I said, okay, I will take that to heart and we spun up multiple channels. So I'm gonna actually summarize how much we made month to month. And this is a combination of all those different channels add it together, just try to simplify it all. So in April, we made $85. Yay! Now, that actually wasn't too bad. Right. Because it was only for one week of April, the mm -hmm. last week that we started to make money, April 22nd. So come around May, on our main channel, which is a reaction channel, that was the one that I started to focus on most, we made about $506. Oh, that's that's right. a big, big jump. jump. Now, uh, during that time, May was also when our second channel, our vlogs, had also started to monetize as well. So, although I have to admit, up until that point, like the watch time of our videos were pretty low. They're almost like half of what it is today because mm. right, it was like, hey, here's our live. This is what we're checking out. Like nobody wants to see what we're doing because- Because <laughs> we're not famous. It's not like you got a you know a sex tape out there somewhere. <laughs> it's, not it's not like I'm, like I'm involved with some sort of embezzlement, you know. <laughs> yeah, we're nobody, right? So we have to cover topics that people are interested in first and hopefully over time, they start to love us. And one of the things we really started to love at that time was uh, doing reactions. Mm. And then with K-pop, we couldn't really make any money from it because it's all copyrighted Copyright. content, right? So around May, $506, I actually thought was pretty good for month number two, given those two issues. <laughs> all right, so come around June, we made $522. I think it's relatively flat here because at the time I was still trying to figure out what was the right content mix. Because right. even if you do predominantly reactions, which is one of our main channel, React to the World, that's what we cover there. The reality is you can react to anything. You can react to movies, you can react to music. React to um, puppies. You can react to watching puppies, like a whole bunch of stuff. It was really around that time that what I started to see was really interesting was covering talent shows. Because talent shows have this type of drama and tension, right? That you're trying to figure out who's going to win. So we started to cover like that singing competition in China called The Singer. 
The music is very uh, Italian. Whoa! And then the big one here in the United States, which is America's Got Talent, really took off for us. Right. People really loved our reactions to it, and we really loved the show. And that dynamic played out really well in front of the camera. We started to see an acceleration around that type of content. July was actually when America's Got Talent, I think, was starting to get to the latter half of that show quarterfinals the semifinals so we were able to make one thousand three hundred and three dollars more than double in oh, june man. really started to took off that would also help because at that time i started to monetize our third channel the name of this channel has changed a lot over the <laughs> last many months because i've been trying different things at times i was calling it jolly reactions or react to the jolly or john x lulu jolly because we were covering everything from the philippines oh, and i figure you know jolly you know jolly, jolly bee, bee. <laughs> People in the Philippines, very, very jolly. I just thought, man, it's an easy name, right? And that helped us boost our earnings somewhat in that month. Uh -huh. Although overall, mm, I would say it's probably still small in comparison to the other stuff we were doing with, mm -hmm. mainly because it was how much money you can earn in the Philippines. It's, it's a lot lower. During the month of August, we were able to ramp up to making $1,757. You're paying the bills. <laughs> so basically by August, we were making enough now to pay for our rent. Now, the one thing I will always caution people is that earnings go up and down. Uh, January is a lot slower, but since we didn't make money in January, I didn't know how bad it could get. But I was really happy with this. I mean, making over $1,700 a month right. on YouTube like within a couple of months is uh, pretty amazing. So September, we made $1,728. <laughs> Mm. just as good what? as the previous uh -huh. month. But the reason why it did so well is because in that month, AGT was wrapping up. So it was the finals, right? Uh. So we knew that some of the big acts like Cody Lee, VM Beatable. Well, Cody Lee was generating revenue. VM Beatable was giving us a lot of views. Unfortunately, VM Beatable, because it's an act from India, and India also tends to have one of the lower CPMs. Also because some of the acts from VM Beatle, they were using music from India that was copyrighted. We couldn't make money from it. But you know, I would say this, right? If we can monetize every one of the videos that we did on reactions, the amount we earned September was probably Should about be triple. Bigger. But this was actually the first month I started to think about, we need to start branching off beyond doing reactions. Mm. October, we made $1,159. A pretty big drop. That's right. And the drop happened because one, AGT was over. Over. <laughs> exactly. Also because at the time, I thought, you know, let's explore branching off and doing a K-pop channel, right? Mm -hmm. Because I know that you really love K-pop. It's really popular as well. But, you know, the effort amount of time that I shifted towards trying to get that off the ground actually really didn't bear much fruit. Overall, our K-pop channel probably earned a couple hundred dollars, but... Um, but because we love K-pop. You know, maybe if we get big enough, we can continue to do it, you're right? At least earn some money from it. But um, I realized that if I dedicated more time towards that, it's basically just saying, I won't make money, mm. it's, right? It's a tough slog to continue to create all this content without monetizing. So October was a kind of an eye-opening month. We probably get about like a million views a month. Pretty good for a relatively new channel, but it's flatline. It's not mm. getting bigger. Right. That's why you really can't look at our subscriber numbers. You know, like, well, look at our subscribers going up. You have to look at how many views, how many people coming in, because most of those views are from new people, right? Uh, Discovering you so not, not was not growing, right? Uh -huh. Now, November, we made $1,717. Like I said, it's because during the holiday season, people are at home, watch YouTube, is that what it nope. is? Nope. <laughs> because ad dollars, companies are paying more to put advertising in front of you. Uh, so, uh, you know, where I was making maybe like $5 CPNs before, it will literally go up to like eight to sometimes even $9. You can almost double your revenue wow. in the month of November and December if you realize like you're in a hot niche, right? Any niche wow. that people want to reach because, you know, they want, People to go spend money for the holidays. November was also the time when we launched another channel right, around geek and gaming, particularly like business of geek and gaming, because that's been my background, my career. And I thought, mm -hmm. man, I should really tap into that. It kind of started off uh, around doing movie trailers. And I just shifted more toward geek and gaming stuff. I think I want to shift more towards business and finance for 2020 because I enjoy that kind of topic. And that topic tends and to do your... really well. Yeah. yeah. And in December, the final month, we hit our crescendo, the biggest amount we earn in a month, which is $2,083. And 
and every one of these channels were making money that we uh, have out there. Our gaming channel that, like I said, just started made about $500 that month. Uh, very similar to our reaction channel when we got it off the ground. Overall, when you add it all together, it is over 10,900 some dollars. Awesome. It's incredibly amazing how you're able to grow so fast. Even not just grow fast, but make- Here comes the money. Here we go. So I hope that this has been insightful for you. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to figure out how to convince you to get more involved behind the scenes as well, because you can do this too. This did not take a degree in being a YouTube, unlike my career, which requires like an MBA. Yes, that's the goal. The challenging part is to film, just to turn on that camera and talk. And it's amazing how the easiest thing to do, which is to record, <laughs> is actually the hardest thing to do. The hardest, because you have to have the concept. You can't just do it randomly. <laughs>